the angel Gabriel has been left hanging because he's asked, he said, the eternal father is awaiting your word. Mary crosses her hands over her breast and bowing down deeply, she says, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let what you have said be done to me. The angel shines out of joy. He kneels in adoration because he certainly sees the Spirit of God descend upon the Virgin bent down in ascent and he disappears without moving the curtain but leaves it well drawn over the holy mystery. Just as a final thought, we can see that Gabriel was really unsure, unsure what Mary would do. I suppose we can say he thought she probably would assent, but this is an unusual request. And it was sprung upon her from nowhere. She'd been prepared in a sense, but not in her conscious mind. So she could have said, I can't do this. Only God knows in this mysterious way free will and how it interacts with predestination. Mary freely chose one option but she could have chosen the other and so Gabriel shines out of joy it says and he then kneels in adoration because he sees God the Holy Spirit descending. And it's wonderful to read of the joy on the face of the angel Gabriel because this is the most momentous event in the history of the universe. And he was there when the entire matter was put before Lucifer and Lucifer refused, as our tradition says, the idea of worshipping um, a um, God in human form or kneeling before a creature like Mary. And so this divine plan has now come to fruition. Hence the joy of the angel and no doubt his absolute wonder at the Blessed Virgin. Again, this points to something, you know, in the, if you look in the Old Testament, we don't see angels in awe of human beings. Never, never. They may be, they'll interact with human beings. They'll say that they'll basically imply that the human being is special to whom they've been sent. Otherwise, why would the angel be sent to them? But this is something else. This is an act of, of absolute adoration. And so we can see that our Catholic position of Mary, our dogmas about Mary, are implicit in the act of a pure spirit being, the angel Gabriel. We are lower than them in one sense. We're soiled with sin, but we're also, um, our intellects are limited. Um, obviously only God's intellect is unlimited, but angels are far far superior to us in that sense and they don't suffer from the disabilities we suffer from for merely being human. This kneeling in adoration to the Virgin has shown in so much art and is shown in the banner of my own website, the banner of my own YouTube channel. I don't have a website. This really testifies to the validity of her as God-bearer, the, the mother of God, the Immaculate Conception. These are titles which belong to Mary and it will be an absolute scandal if they weren't given to her. And so we Catholics must exalt her more than anything except God himself. <laughs>